Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be like Barbie slash freckles makeup, I guess you'd say. Um, I really fell in love with this gorgeous pink lipstick. It actually looked really good on me, which I was shocked. I got a lot of compliments when I wore this. So with all other do, I just want to show you guys a really quick makeup look using something cute like this and yeah I'm not wearing any foundation for the simple fact because um, today is Friday today is a truck day at my job and I don't feel like putting a lot of makeup on my face and all that jazz so with all other do's let me shut up and let's get into this video so all I'm doing is just applying some tape to give myself some guideline and I'm going in with my pumpkin spice um, Too Faced palette just to give my eyes some color before I add eyeliner <laughs> and I kind of want to like just chit chat on this video a little bit I guess this is going to be like a get ready with me slash update and whatnot. So anyways, um, I was supposed to get Dairy Manager and that didn't happen. Which kind of annoys me because the guy that um, I work with is pretty much a baby he complains about everything he whines about everything if something doesn't go the way he wants it to go then he throws a little hissy fit just to be honest it makes me really wonder what he has between his legs like because he just doesn't act like a guy he's the biggest gossiper I've ever seen in my life and it's like what the hell so that didn't work out to my plan, which is okay, I guess, because I would much rather focus all my time on YouTube and with you guys, because this is something that I would much rather do than throw milk and stock shelves all day. Just to be honest, like I would so much rather do this and talk to you guys, help you guys, and all that stuff. Because this right here is more interesting to me than that. So that is that. Um, yesterday was February 14th, which was Valentine's Day. I don't know if it's Valentine's Day everywhere, but it was Valentine's Day in the United States. And... It was also me and my husband's 10 year anniversary, which is like, holy cow, like we met in 2009 and a lot of stuff has happened between in 10 years. It's just like, what the hell? Like, where was time at? Because even my husband said last night, he's like, are you still trying to register that we've been together for 10 years? And I'm like, yes, because it just doesn't feel like 10 years. Like 10 years is a long ass time. And it's like, what the hell? But also at the same time, um, we have grown. Like what I mean by that is when we first met each other we had absolutely nothing and now we own our own home which is amazingly and I am extremely blessed for that because I never thought in a million years that I would own my own house because when we first met each other we had nothing like I remember our um kitchen didn't have anything in it. All we had was just like the appliances and whatnot. And that was about it. And we didn't have anything to really cook with. So it was like really hard to cook things with. And um, our living room only had a couch in it. We didn't even have, we had, well, we had this 
terrible looking um, entertainment center that my mom gave to me. And that's all we had in our living room was just a couch and that, and that was it. And um, our bedroom, all we had was just a bed and a couple of dressers. <laughs> that was the extent of that. Um, what else? Our bathroom really didn't have anything in it either. And now our home is actually furnished with a lot of stuff. It's just so amazing. Of how things can change and all that stuff so that is super weird but also at the same time it is a blessing like i said because you just never know you just always have to have faith that things will work out so the next thing i'm trying to find is my eyeliner guys do for Valentine's Day? Did you go out? Did you do anything special with your significant other? So let me know what you guys did or if you guys don't have a Valentine's or anything to that nature. Like I'm so sick of women who don't really have Valentine's Day are always like fuck men on Valentine's Day and it's like um I don't really understand they'll say like men are dogs and stuff on Valentine's Day but yet you're still fucking with the same guy that you're bitching about makes a whole lot of fucking sense don't it oh and one other thing I did want to talk to you guys about is I am dealing with a girl who is extremely extremely jealous of me you guys holy shit oh my god okay like first off uh, I don't even like know where to begin like she went to the manager about me about my work pants if you guys um follow me on snapchat then you guys know I've already like ranted about this but it's it's like seriously dude like this girl tries to find everything to complain about me and it's like so annoying and she'll sit there and like go tell the boss like if I don't come up to the register to open if I don't like as soon as she says something and it's like what the hell like holy crap you guys and it's even getting worse because of a guy and it's like first off the thing that really gets me about the whole situation is I'm married and this girl is also married and I like to joke and mess around with everybody like I don't care if it's a man a woman or whatever I'm just that type of person that's just my personality like I'll just go and joke with people like that's just who I am like I don't know how to explain it and um this girl she just gets so pissed and then I caught when that she liked this guy that um we work with and I decided for my sake because I just know how women and shit can be when especially when it comes to a man and it's like what the hell dude we're not in high school anymore <laughs> and so I just decided to just back off from this guy I'm um, completely stopped talking to him I've just completely ignored him I am I don't even acknowledge that he's there and I know I shouldn't do that because that individual has never done anything to me to be like that towards him but also at the same time it's like I know how that girl is going to be how y'all like my um coffee cup and 
this bitch still gets mad and I'm not even communicating with this guy and it's like girl you have got to calm the fuck down because holy shit she's coming off extremely I don't know where I put my lipstick there it is and she's coming off like so extremely desperate and it's like girl do you not know your worth <laughs> holy shit uh, yeah, that's what I'm dealing with is a girl who thinks that I want her man when I don't want her man and it's like girl, good night. Alright. So I'm going in with girl, if y'all have any suggestions of white whitening teeth because my teeth are legit getting bad as hell because I smoke cigarettes and I drink coffee and my teeth are getting extremely fucking yellow and we've got to do something about it. So if you guys are wondering, I just went in with um, Jeffree Star's Lip Ammo and this is Jeffree's Girl. If you guys are wondering the name, hopefully that's focusing. I will have everything listed down below of everything that I've used. Um, if you guys are wondering, I did already do my eyebrows. So I am going in with my um, Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. And I actually naturally have freckles on my face. And as I've gotten older, they just kind of like spread off and you can't really tell and see them because I have more of like red blemishes on my face more than anything now. But I am going to try to recreate some freckles from my childhood. <gasps> Okay, we're starting to look like Pippi Longstocking. I do not know if I'm going to wear this to work today, but we're looking cute. If you guys are wondering, I'm just like slightly dabbing because... I want them to look natural as possible. I don't want them to look overly like I just drew them on my face. All right. Oh my God. I don't know. What do you guys think? To me, it almost looks like I have them drawn on. I don't know. We'll still publish this, though. Because I'm just that bitch. So, yes, you guys. Um, this is the simple Barbie freckled little cute girl. If you guys want to be a cute little girl today, if you want to try something different with your makeup, here you go. Oh yeah, one thing I would suggest is definitely put a setting spray on your face, just for the simple fact, because this is a creamy shadow stick, and it would probably smear, especially if you wore glasses or anything to that nature. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big, huge thumbs up, and as always, I'll see you in my next video. I upload every three days due to working purposes, and I'll see you soon. I don't know if you guys can see, but I went to wipe them off. Um, just a little tip and trick if you kind of want to make it look really natural. Wipe them off to a certain extent and then it will look like you have natural little freckles. They'll give you like a shadow effect. Just a tr tip. Trick. See you guys.